<laughs> I'm so happy we're together again. More people's always a good thing. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Let's hang a left here. Just keep following the highway. You can't miss it.
I couldn't help but notice that you seem to be in need of some assistance. Yeah. Huh? And who might you be? Oh, no one out of the ordinary. Just another merchant forced to waste away here. I've been watching you surreptitiously snoop around, you see. And I have a feeling you would welcome a stranger's helping hand. That's why, out of the kindness of my heart, I've decided to lend you just that. Only if you like, of course. Um... Sorry, but we're a little tied up at the moment. Mind finding someone else to buy whatever it is you're selling? My, my. Batting away my generosity, are we? You're oh. so cold. Perhaps we should take a moment to have Class 7 weigh in on the matter, rather than you, Grace. How do you know who we are? Who are you? <laughs> an excellent question from an inquiring mind. Let us set a little wager, then. I'll tell you exactly who I am. If you can catch me. Hey! Get back! There's no one here! And it's a dead end! You're joking! Don't tell me he just up and vanished into smoke! I sincerely doubt that. Wait. I can feel a breeze around here. Looks like he went through here. Oh my. It's a ventilation shaft. No wonder. Could it lead to where I think it does? We won't know until we go through it. I'm curious where that guy went too, so let's go for it. It's so dark in here. Too bad. If you were a cat, you'd have good night vision like me. But I'm totally fine, and I'm not a cat. You think that guy even came in here? Beats me. He's not someone you see every day, for sure. Oh, that was one narrow duct. Wait. Isn't this... It's the Transcontinental Railroad's tracks! Thought so. Guess we don't need to worry about how to get on them anymore. Yeah, sure. But what happened to that hooded man? I can't see him anywhere. I wonder where he went. I can't sense him nearby either. Oh, it does bother me that he seemed to know who we are, but I think we're better off forgetting about him for now. We need to focus on crossing to the other side of the bridge. I think I know what that means. Agreed. He was suspicious, but I didn't get the feeling we were enemies. Now, at least. You don't think this was some elaborate way of helping us out, do you? <sighs> I think that's being a little too optimistic. We still got what we wanted in the end. Let's follow these tracks and get inside the fortress. Yeah, and they shouldn't be able to spot us from up on the bridge either. You guys ready to go? Please don't let them spot us. So far, so good.
<laughs> well, there they go. I'm afraid that's as much help as I can give. The rest is up to you. I'll be offering up a prayer to the goddess for your success. We're through. Take a right to get to the by road. Okay, go through that gate and we're good to go. Someone certainly knows. Abandoned. Yep, no one's bothering to maintain it these days. Mm. Damn it! 
We're all screwed up. Ready to go! Let's activate! Whew. Let's move! I'm up! I'll handle it. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. You guys... He's ahead! We'll have to fight! Let's move! Now! I'll back you up! My turn. Here I go! Right! It's my turn! Take this! Okay. Eliminating targets! My turn! Disactivate! Huh! Okay! Or disactivate! Leave this to me! Ah! They're off balance! Broken! Huh? Thanks! My turn. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. Something up, Fee? Probably <laughs> just my imagination. Bring it up! I'll handle it. Okay! <sighs> Leave this to me! Let's move! Disactivate! Try this!
Too slow. All right, let's keep moving. Great! Cocky. I'll handle it. Marcus, activate. My turn. Marcus, activate. Ha. Okay. Marcus, activate. It's my turn. Neutralized. Guess we're safe. That out. I think that's Corellia Fortress in the distance. Getting closer. We need to regroup. Keep moving.
Oh, we're finally here. Yeah, that was a longer walk than I was expecting, <gasps> too. Someone took a giant ice cream scoop to it. I mean, I'd heard what had happened, but... Yeah. None of that prepared me for the reality of how it looks in person. That place you can see in the distance must be Crossbell City. But what's that blue barrier surrounding it? Well, according to info I got from the Guild, Crossbell's got some kind of new power. And we're talking big, absolute power. No one's got a clue how the damn thing works, though. It sounds terrifying. Yeah. Anyway, that power was what allowed them to do this to Gorelia. It's also what's putting up that barrier around the city. Thanks to that, no other country on the continent, Arabonia included, can touch them. The concept alone is so out of this world, I thought my source was just messing with me, but now... Yeah. Can't doubt what's right before your eyes. Please, I'm willing to bet Ouroboros is involved in whatever happened there. Wouldn't surprise me. Whatever happened in Crossbell it happened at about the same time the war broke out in Erebonia. So there's every chance they're behind both. <sighs> Unbelievable. There's a lot for us to take in, and a lot of questions that need answering. But right now, I think we should focus on reuniting with the 4th Armored Division. We can think about what to do next once we've met with them. Yeah, you're right. The Proving Ground is on the opposite side of the fortress, right? Then we should head farther inside and... <gasps> what was that sound? Don't move, Machias! Why? <coughs> what, what the hell? It was a new model mine. <laughs> Thought so. Come out, you two! I know you're there! <laughs> oh, uh, you noticed. You haven't lost your touch, Fee. General Leo. Weren't those two in Heimdall during the National Address? They were. And they were with Duke Cayenne and LeGram. I knew it. Long time no see, Fee. 
a uh, yearish, I guess. <laughs> Still pint size, but you've grown a bit taller, at least. Her muscular strength, reflexes, and agility have also remarkably improved. There's no stopping the flow of time, I suppose. Careful, guys. That's Zephyr's emblem on their jackets. Wait, Zephyr? That's the Jaeger Corfi was with! There's no need to be so on guard. We just want to enjoy our long-awaited reunion with an old friend and comrade. How about you, Fee? Miss us? You're the same as ever. Although, if you keep using traps to kick off reunion parties, you won't have any friends left before long. Ah, don't be like that. That's just my way of saying hi. Thought it'd bring you back to the good old days when you used to play with them for practice. And I only set the one, so give me a break, okay? Well, whatever. You look good, Leo. I'm glad. Well, we haven't changed half as much in the span of a year as you did. Adults have a lot less room for growth. I'm already 15, you know. Where have you two been all this time? I tried to find out where you'd gone after you all disappeared, but it was like you vanished from the continent. Who knows? Anyway, uh, let's let the past stay in the past, yeah? So, uh, you up to anything fun? We're giving the Noble Alliance guys lessons on how to pilot those soul dots better these days. It ain't the most exciting gig in the world. They're not interested in learning from a couple of Jaegers, but they suck at piloting them even when they do listen. Oh. These two are Jaegers, right? They sure don't seem that way. Well, they're old friends of Fee. They might seem friendly, but don't let your guard down. Zephyr's up there together with the Red Constellation as one of the strongest cores in Zemuria. Huh? Could've fooled me. These are the people Fee lived with before she joined us. Okay, I think we better wrap up the family reunion. Wish we could catch up with you a little while longer, but unfortunately, we've got a job to do, and work takes priority. To confirm, you have no intention of withdrawing. None. We're here with conflicting goals. That makes us enemies. And that gives us no choice but to fight with everything we've got. <laughs> Trust you to know how this works. What kinds of weapons are those? A blade rifle and a mechanized gauntlet? Alright, let's have some fun. You ready, kiddos? Fight with everything you have. Unless you want to end up in as many pieces as this fortress. Oh boy. Okay, now I can believe they're. These two served as regimental commanders back in the Corps. Our odds of winning are 20% at best. Don't hold back. I'm not sure I like those odds. Like them or not, we have no choice but to bet on those odds. Let's give this all we got. Well, let's get started. Show us what you can do. My turn.
Yeah! My turn. Here I go. Try this! My turn. Take this. Huh. Here I go. My turn. Here I go. Right. Disactivate. Huh. I Barrier. Break! Here I go. Sit. Here I go. Fly! Here's where the real men The Lanterns are! I'm better than I'm being sorry, attention. Everyone. I won't give up. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. 
This isn't good. Huh. I'm not done yet. Gonna like these. Ha! <sighs> They're monsters. They're still holding back, too. Not bad. For being only students, you show great potential. It's not easy to keep up with feet. <laughs> you think they can handle us if we kicked it up a notch? I'm game if you are, Leo. Who else I'm is up for not... round two? <sighs> Should have known they weren't even trying. That 20% is looking more like zero right now. Front is like the soul dot Scarlet was piloting near Trista. What are they doing coming from the by road? I get it now. The attack from the Transcontinental Railroad was just a diversion. They were intending to launch a surprise attack from the flank all along. What are civilians doing here? Or Zephyr for that matter? First you disappear when you're supposed to be taking part in our operation, and then you wind up here? Be gone! You're in our way! <sighs> Round two's gonna have to wait, I guess. Um, I was hoping to get a chance to try my luck against that famous knight, too. I had some traps specially made for it and everything. You'll get your chance eventually. We should stand down for now and watch from above. What should we do? We don't have to worry about Zeno and Leo now, but we're not out of danger yet. After how much trouble it was to defeat one soldat back near Trista, not out of danger is an understatement. Yeah, and it was one of those against all of Class 7. Stand back, everyone. Are you...? Wait... You're gonna call Valimar? It's the only choice we have! Heed my call. Valimar, Valimar the, the Ashen, Ashen Knight! Knight! Yeah. Let What's that sound? It's coming from the sky over there! Is it an Imperial Army airship? In the world? Is that the thing they mentioned in the report? Why do I die tonight? It's here. What the? An ash colored knight? Why? Why is it here? You, you can't be. Uh. He really came. Whoa, this is amazing. Sorry for leaving this to you, Reen. We're counting on you. Right. Meddling brats. Go forth, my proud drop. 
Okay, finish it off while we still can! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Okay. I shouldn't need to worry about fighting on borrowed time like before. We're up against an awful lot of them, though. If only we had some kind of weapon. Oh, that won't be an issue. There are plenty of potential weapons right there in front of us. <laughs> Clever. If that's what you have in mind, we'd best concentrate our attacks on one of them and snatch it away as quickly as possible. That's the plan. Valimar, here we go! Acknowledged. All right, you ready? That it worked. I am a this is where the real battle begins. Yeah, that's Irene. That was quite an impressive plan. Huh? Are your arcuses resonating with one another? Go ahead and show me what you can do. My turn. Can you handle this? I'll try at least. Try this. Keep it up!
Hold it. Just a little more. Okay. Try this. Turn this whole situation around. Sir, this battle isn't over yet. We still have the advantage in numbers. We can surround him. Victory will be ours.
A sniper? Where are they? What just happened? Who the... I've taken out the commander's sensor. What's the situation with Zephyr? Both are standing by at 5 o'clock. No signs of movement. Acknowledged. Ignore them for now. Focus your attention on the highway instead. Yes, ma'am. If she can aim that precisely from that far away, we're likely in her sights too. The Icy Maiden has certainly earned her reputation. Wouldn't want to try my luck against her. Not right now, anyway. Not much we can do while she's all the way over there. Besides, uh, I think it's about time we called it a day. We're taking off, Fee! See you some other time, okay? Be sure to keep up with your training. You'll need it if you want to make it through this war unscathed. Bye-bye. Who do those damn Jaegers think they are to retreat without orders? All units, fall back! We're returning to the Twin Dragons Bridge! Yes, sir! Phew. Looks like we're safe now. Hey, nice work out there. Whew. I felt uncomfortably close to death one or four too many times. At least it's all over with now. Dad! Thank goodness uh... you're all right! Elliot! That's the famous Craig the Red, huh? Looks like the real model of a scary-ass military officer. Uh, about that. That's what everyone thinks at first. Oh! My beloved gift from Adios! <laughs> why, why, why did you talk? Come here into your father's loving embrace! No way, Dad! I mean, I'm glad you haven't changed, but... I, I, Nonsense! You were raised in my arms, my boy. What's another two or three minutes more? I can tell you've lost some weight, but you're otherwise as fit as your fiddles. Oh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> you too. But you're seriously hurting me now. Please loosen your grip some. That thing I said earlier, I take it back. <laughs> yeah, everyone reacts like that. Elliot seems really happy, though. Yeah, it's great to see them together again. I'm pleased to see that everything went well. Uh, I thought it was you. Looks like you're from the Railway Military Police. Then you must be... It's a pleasure to see you again, Captain. <laughs> Likewise. And, yes sir, I'm Captain Claire Revelt of the RMP. It sounds as though we have plenty to discuss, perhaps in a more fitting location. Follow me if you would.
like to begin by congratulating you on making it all the way here. I'm overjoyed to see you all again. The same to you, Captain. I had no idea what had happened to you after Heimdall's occupation. It's a huge relief to see you made it out okay. <laughs> Funny. I was just as concerned for all of you. As for you, I believe it's the first time we've had the pleasure of meeting. You're Toval Rondonor of the Bracer Guild, yes? Wow, you actually heard of me? Though, to tell you the truth, I've heard more than my fair share of stories about you from Sarah, too. Kind of surprising to see you with the 4th Armored Division. She got in touch with us soon after the war broke out, in fact. She then mobilized the RMP to guide us to this proving ground so that we could establish a base. We wouldn't be here now if not for her. Wow, really? I see your ability to make good, quick judgments is still intact. Reorganizing the divided divisions was of the utmost importance. I simply did what I had to do. I was concerned about His Excellency and what was happening in the capital. But he always told me to act objectively in times of crisis. Oh, my, my apologies, Captain. I'd almost forgotten that she was right there in the capital when her boss was assassinated. And by none other than Crow. Oh, yeah. Where's Instructor Neidhart anyway? I thought he would be here with you, Dad. He hasn't been back to this division, no. We had no idea whatsoever of his whereabouts until a few days ago. But then he was finally able to get in contact and inform us that he was well. That's good news. Either way, it sounds like you can't be too careful. This base is held so far, but there's no guarantee that'll always be the case. I wish I could deny that. The Noble Alliance is starting to put more and more resources into trying to finish us off. We know how to deal with their soul dots, which evens the odds, but we're at a discipline. True. This isn't the best location for getting outside help. The longer the war goes on, the harder it's gonna be to hold out. That said, we have no intention of giving up without a fight. Our enemies have occupied the capital and effectively taken the citizens, as well as the Imperial family, hostage. Even should the Goddess forgive them, I damn well won't! You don't need to yell quite that loudly. Besides, I don't think you'll find many who are willing to forgive them. Although, if anything, I'm just worried about how Fiona's doing. Yeah, I'm worried about Dad, too. I'm afraid I don't yet have any specific information regarding Heimdall's current situation. With control of the railways taken from us, we're limited on what we can actually do, I'm afraid. Sounds frustrating. Regardless, it's my turn to ask all of you something. Bearing all of what we've just discussed in mind, what do you intend to do from here on out? Well... Good question. You don't have the raw power that the Alliance or the Imperial Army's got. But you've still got a pretty significant weapon at your disposal. And one that neither side can afford to ignore. You need to think long and hard about how you intend to use it. Oh, I agree completely. Valimar's power is incredible. That much is definitely true. These past few days have left me with no choice but to accept what I have. He can take on multiple soul dots at once and still come out on top. If used the right way, he could maybe even change the direction of this war. Keep in mind, it's all dependent on the strength of his Awakener. I hate to toss aside the subject of war so frivolously, but we also need to find some way to rescue Elise and Princess Alfin. If we focus on that, it makes perfect sense for us to support the Imperial Army and fight against the Noble Alliance. But... Lieutenant General? I'm afraid that we can't answer your question at the present time. At the very least, not until we've heard everyone's opinion. Oh? Hmm. We hate what the Alliance is doing as much as you do. So in that sense, we want to do what we can to help you fight against them. 
But I don't think it would be right for just the four of us to decide without everyone else's input. Yep. We need to find everyone else before making such a major decision. We make our decisions together. That's how we roll. For now, we solely want to put our focus on finding the rest of our classmates. Then, and only then, will we decide how best to approach this war. And what we as a class can do to help end it. I see. Once a member of Class 7, always a member of Class 7. <laughs> Can't say I'm all that surprised. Very well. You may have been separated from Thor's, but you still have every bit the spirit of a student. And it is the duty of students to absorb the world around them. Go forth, and when you're all together once again, find your role to play. Only then can I hear your answer. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dad. I apologize for not being able to give you a better and more immediate answer. Not at all. What you said was perfectly reasonable, Reem. You will hear no objections from me. Whatever path you choose, I hope you see it through to the end with all the inner strength and conviction of a son of Erebonia. That said, I'm conflicted about sending my dear Elliot away without proper protection. Should I send a company of troops with him? That might not be enough. He needs airships as well. Dad, stop. This is so embarrassing. He really is the most doting father I've ever seen. I bet a hundred Mira the war would be over in no time flat if the Alliance ever tried to kidnap Elliot. <laughs> well, in that case, how would you like me to accompany you? You, Captain? Are you sure? You're currently using Ymir as your base of operations, correct? Not only could I use my knowledge to better fortify it, I could also handle communications with other regions from there. This could be a good chance to reach out and find Milium as well. I haven't been able to contact her since the war broke out. Oh. Works for me. To be blunt, Ymir's borders are wide open. The Alliance could take advantage of that at any time. We can't have another incident like with the Jaegers. Bringing her back just might be our best defense right now. I hate to admit it, but you're right. There's a limit to how much we can do. At the end of the day, we're students. We need to swallow our pride and take help where it's given. Especially from specialists like the two of you. More important than all of that, I know we can trust you. You're right. Exactly. Captain Claire, we'd be honored to accept your kind offer. Welcome to the team. <laughs> all mine. In addition to my duties as a member of the RMP, I hereby pledge my support to everyone in Class 7. Sorry to keep you waiting for so long. Oh. You're not in uniform. 
I'd be something of a walking target if we were to travel to any Alliance-ruled areas dressed like that, after all. This outfit doesn't look too strange on me, does it? It does. No, absolutely not. You just look so different in it that it took me a moment to recognize it was you. <laughs> yeah, it really suits you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I feel like I'm surrounded by horny teenagers all of a sudden. Can't blame a guy for falling for a pretty girl, Fee. It's what we do. I think this is one mystery about humans I'm content not trying to get my head around. You're all ready to depart, then? Dead. I've given my subordinates their orders. They will be backing you up as best they can in my absence. Should you need anything, let them know. They will be able to get in contact with me if need be. Very well. Leave everything here to us. In return, I will be counting on you to support the young lions of the Academy. I will, sir. Elliot. I'm astounded by just how much stronger Elliot. you've become in less than a year. You might not appreciate me saying this, but everything you've done has just confirmed in my mind that sending you to Thor's was the right choice after all. Honestly, Dad, I feel the same way. It wasn't what I wanted to do originally, but if not for enrolling there, I never would have met all of my friends. So while I couldn't imagine I'd ever feel this way at the time, I'm really grateful to you now. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Looking at you now, it's clear that you're finally ready to forge your own path through life. And make as such, once this war is over, and this if you still wish to live your life as a musician, you will have my full support. You... actually allow that? I'm true to my word. You needn't rush to decide what you want to do now, though. I imagine that if you keep fighting alongside your classmates, you will eventually realize what you want to do. And a choice reached after long, serious thought is not one you will regret. Huh. Thanks, Dad. To tell you the truth, I'm really not sure what I want to do anymore. But by this war's end, I'm sure I'll know, too. That's my boy. Well, I wish all of you luck and good health. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye, then. The best to you, too, sir. Take care, Dad. Then they can't be all in. 